Okay. In our video series on emergency medicine, in this video, we'll be talking about Edisonian crisis. We'll discuss that what is Edisonian crisis, what is its presentation, and what are the causes of Edisonian crisis, and how do you treat it in emergency department. So first of all, what is Edisonian crisis? Edisonian crisis is basically a medical emergency characterized by severe cardiovascular compromise and shock and coma due to deficiency of adrenocortical hormones. If you understand the functions of adrenocortical hormones, then understanding what happens in their deficiency would be much more easier for you. Remember, adrenocortical hormones include cortisol and aldosterone. Remember that cortisol is a stress hormone in the body. It helps body fight stressful situation. Cortisol maintains the blood pressure and it also maintains the blood glucose levels so that body can fight all the stressors. Aldosterone causes salt retention, ultimately contributing to the blood pressure. If cortisol and aldosterone are absent, there will be low blood pressure, there will be low glucose levels and stress hormone cortisol will be absent body won't be able to cope up with the stressors from outside. If there is low blood pressure, it would lead to shock and cardiovascular compromise and ultimately coma. So Edisonian crisis is a medical emergency that needs urgent medical care. The presentation would be that patient would be in shock. Patient won't be able to maintain his blood pressure and patient will be developing postural hypotension. How do you check postural hypotension? You check the patient's blood pressure while the patient is lying down. Then you ask the patient to stand up unsupported for at least two minutes. And after that, you again recheck the blood pressure and there will be a major difference in the blood pressure when the patient was lying down and when the patient was standing up because this maintenance of blood pressure depends on these stress hormones. Other than that, patient will have increased heart rate since there is hypotension to maintain the blood pressure of heart pumps more resulting in increased heart rate. There is oliguria since there is shock-like situation where the kidneys are not receiving enough fluid, enough blood. Therefore, there will be no urine production, very less urine production resulting in oliguria and patient will be confused and comatose. Other than that, patient can also develop hypoglycemia due to the lack of cortisol. Lack of cortisol leads to lower fasting glucose level. When you check the fasting glucose level, this, this patient will be having very low fasting glucose levels. Even some diabetic patients who develop Edisonian crisis, all of a sudden these diabetic patients get very good control of diabetes even without insulin, without medications, or sometimes they even do go into hypoglycemia without using medications. So that is Edisonian Edisonian crisis. Causes include sudden withdrawal of steroids, one of the very important causes. These are the patients who are chronically taking exogenous steroids and all of a sudden they stop taking those medications and they develop Edisonian crisis. Basically, exogenous intake of steroids suppresses endogenous production of cortisol. Exogenous intake of steroid suppresses the endogenous production of cortisol from the adrenal glands. Those adrenal glands have now atrophied. There is no endogenous production of cortisol since the patient was taking cortisol from outside and there was a negative feedback mechanism to the endogenous production. Now, when the patient suddenly stops taking those cortisol, the endogenous production of the cortisol is very, very low since the adrenal glands have been atrophied due to the negative feedback. Now, patient develops a dysonian crisis. Bilateral adrenal hemorrhage as occur in meningococcal infection. Any other infection like TB that can destroy the adrenal glands, trauma, surgery, or even autoimmune destruction of the adrenal glands can suddenly put the patient into a Edisonian crisis. Investigations include serum cortisol levels that will be low, and if the pituitary is also involved, ACTH levels will also be low. Serum electrolytes will be as such. There will be hyperkalemia with hyponatremia. Since aldosterone causes a retention of sodium within the body and it causes release of potassium and hydrogen in the urine. 
if there is no aldosterone no sodium will be retained within the body and no potassium will be released from the body so body will have hyponatremia with hyperkalemia since the sodium is not being absorbed and potassium is not being secreted which is the basic function of aldosterone if you suspect any infection send blood cultures emergency treatment of addisonian crisis include that you have to straight away give hydrocortisone 100 mg iv stat and then you have to give 100 mg every 8 hourly you have to give iv fluid bolus 500 ml 0.9% normal saline to support the blood pressure and you monitor blood glucose levels usually giving hydrocortisone will correct the blood glucose levels with it continuing treatment you have to change the patient to oral steroids after 72 hours if the patient condition is stable if the patient is stable patient can be sent home you have to shift the patient from iv steroids to oral steroids after 72 hours fludricortisone can also be added fludricortisone is basically a steroid that acts just like aldosterone it causes salt and water retention so fludricortisone will replace the function of aldosterone and patient will take it from outside with oral steroids that will make up for the loss of cortisol so this was all about addisonian crisis in summary we talked about addisonian crisis in which there is deficiency of cortisol and aldosterone leading to lower blood pressure and lower glucose levels other than that patient will be in shock and hypoglycemia sudden withdrawal of steroids being the important cause investigations include cortisol acth level serum electrolytes that will show hyperkalemia with hyponatremia and emergency treatment includes hydrocortisone 100 mg iv stat fluids and you have to shift the patient to oral steroids with fluid recortisone as needed so this was all about addisonian crisis if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on emergency medicine the link of those videos is given in the description below thank you very much